All right, let's talk about navigation in Moodle 2.0 and up. It's quite different from the navigation in Moodle 1.9 and before, so pay attention. It takes some getting used to. First things first, what hasn't changed? Moodle still has the course categories that you're familiar with, which is where your courses will be organized by the kind of course they are. In some schools, the course categories might be the building or the school district. In other places, it might be the topic or the subject area. You'll still go into a Moodle course category and find a list of courses that you can choose from. When you step inside a course page, you'll still find a breadcrumb trail, which you're familiar with from Moodle 1.9 although the trail has changed a bit. In Moodle 1.9, you always found the first link to be the home page. That's still true. The second link was the course name. Now, in Moodle 2.0, they've organized the breadcrumb trail to drill through our categories. Remember how we first stepped into Moodle trainings and then the Moodle features demo? The Moodle breadcrumb trail, therefore, is a bit longer before you get to the name of the course. Be aware of that. In Moodle 1.9, you also had the name of the course, followed by the kind of activity, then the activity name. Remember that? For example, if I clicked on News Forum, I would see Home, Moodle Features Demo, Forums, News Forum. It's quite different in 2.0. You've got the home page, courses, the category, the course short name, the topic or section that you're in, big change, and then the name of the activity that you're in. So this is very, very different, a huge difference in our breadcrumb trail structure. As I drill into other activities, such as the overall design of Moodle, again, topic one is where this activity is located, then the name of the activity. Back on my main Moodle course page, we have some other tools that help us with navigation. There is a new navigation block. This is a side block that is on every page in Moodle. This shows me a hierarchy of where I am. You can see you have your home. You can always get to your profile. Then you have the courses you're involved in. Then the category. Then the course name. Beneath that, you can expand all of the topics or the modules in your Moodle course to see the assignments and the links inside. This is brand, brand new. Now, how can this navigation be useful to you? A key part of the Moodle 2.0 new navigation structure is the ability to dock this block. What do I mean by that? A dock is the area on the top left-hand side of your Moodle screen where you can literally park a side block so that it always stays with you. Let's try it with the navigation block. I have a small icon in the corner that allows me to click once and the block seems to disappear. It actually went to my top left-hand side. If I hover on the word navigation, the block expands. Or if I click on it, the block expands. Now the expanded block in your dock space has only a certain width to it. So once you get down into some of these areas, it gets kind of difficult to see the name of these activities. You may want to leave your navigation block in its place on the side of your course if you don't like that. Let's focus a little more on the dock here. Students and teachers and admins, really anyone in Moodle, now has the option to dock any side block that they see. Let's take a look back on this side. The teacher has set up for me a Moodle buzz block, which has an RSS feed with Moodle news. As a student, I now have the flexibility to change the fact that that block should be on the top right hand side of my course. I can park it in my dock. Teachers should be aware of this as they're working on their courses, and students should be aware of this capability to give them some more screen real estate. Now as I scroll down the page, another nice feature is that blocks that otherwise would go above the fold stay with me on this left-hand side. Take a look. If my navigation block is back over on the side and I scroll down, it disappears for me. In the dock, it stays right with me. Other things in 2.0 are exactly the same as 1.9, like being able to collapse modules at a time, like show only topic one. If I click on this little icon on the right-hand side of any module, my course collapses to show me just one section. I can expand it again to allow all of my sections to be visible. 
Those are the basic differences between 1.9 and 2.0. Don't worry, you'll pick it up.